We're asked to simplify the following expressions and assume that any variables and variable expressions are not equal to zero. Looking at the expressions, notice how they all did with the zero exponent property, which is a raised to the power of zero equals one, as long as the base a doesn't equal zero. For a brief explanation of why this is true, let's consider a quotient. Let's consider five squared divided by five squared. Well, we know any non-zero value divided by itself is equal to one, and therefore we know this quotient equals one. Now let's also simplify this again using the quotient property of exponents shown here, which is a to the m divided by a to the n equals a raised to the power of m minus n. So again, if we consider five squared divided by five squared and apply the quotient property of exponents, we would have five raised to the power of two minus two, which is equal to five raised to the power of zero. And again, we know this quotient equals one, and therefore five to the zero must equal one. Now let's look at our examples. First we have z to the zero, and again we're told that the variables and variable expressions are not equal to zero, and therefore we know this must equal one. Two to the zero also equals one. Next we have the quantity two x plus five raised to the power of zero, because the entire quantity is raised to the zero power, we know this equals one. Now we need to be careful about this next expression. We have nine m raised to the power of zero. The exponent of zero is only attached to the m, not to the nine. This is really nine to the first. So this is equal to nine times m raised to the power of zero. m raised to the power of zero is equal to one, so this simplifies to nine times one, which equals nine. Looking at our last expression though, we have four p raised to the power of zero, and because the four p is in parentheses, this entire quantity is raised to the zero power, and therefore it's equal to one. I hope you found this helpful.